tutorial series for Joomla. We're still in chapter one, content, and now we're talking about here in the third lesson about the content organization. In chapter two we talked about content that doesn't fall under any organization and that's called static content. Those are content items that stand alone on a web page, something like your privacy policy. Now we're going to talk about the content management system, uh, the organized portion of that content management system. You can see here I'm in the content items manager of Joomla and I can see that right here that items break down first of all into sections and then into categories and then into the items themselves. They're also sometimes referred to as articles. Right here I like to think of uh, the Joomla content management system as a series of books. So it's sort of like a library and each of the sections is a book. For example, here we've got Man Blog as one book, we've got News as another book, uh, we've got Podcasts as another book, and then each of the books breaks into chapters, and the chapters could be latest news in this case for the news book. I'm going to show you in just a couple of minutes a closer look at the sections and the categories themselves, which I, as I'm talking about right now would be in your library, your books and your chapters and the content items themselves are your books pages. Okay, so let's take a quick look at how this one way it can be organized. It can be or organized into a blog or a news page. Right here I've got an article item that is number 32. What is webware? And then we've got some other articles underneath that. And then we can see they all belong by right here. They're in the news section and then they're in the latest news category, all of them. So I build a an, a, an item, a menu item called blog of a content category and it's going to look at this latest news category and it's going to produce this, this particular blog here. Now I've set it up to have one leading item, what is webware, and then two columns of items from the content category below that. So here's Sonic Affiliate Comeback, Sonic Fog plus Joomla equals affordability, and other and two more articles web development and the online web development process proposal and then I can even set it up to link to the rest of the articles that were in that content category and Joomla automatically builds the pagination in here at the bottom where I can go to the next page I can see that there's two pages here so the next page is purchasing custom software free scripts and could your website be doing more and then a few more articles below that as well and then more links further into that content category. For a closer look at content sections and categories, I mouse over content and go to the section manager. That's where I can manage my sections. In this particular website, I can see that I have nine sections or nine books of content. Okay, each Joomla website has to have at least one section. It can have more, but it has to have at least one. And each section also has to have at least one category. I can see that here by going over content again and then to the category manager. I can see here for example we already looked at latest news and I can see that's part of the news section. I can also other see other things like Sonic Church is part of the functionality section. So Sonic Church is a category, one of the categories that falls under functionality. Free scripts, Joomla comps, web hosting, are some other categories that contain content items that fall under the functionality section. Getting an idea of how these sections, categories, and content items are organized will help you powerfully build your Joomla website. One of the first tasks you should come up with before you start even building your Joomla website is how you're going to lay out your content sections, categories, and items and then how that will blend with what we talked about back in chapter two any of your st standalone content or static content as it's called in Joomla. This concludes the third lesson.